Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thanks for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really lovely wooden effect box. I'm so excited about this. I absolutely love the products that I've used to make this. So it was just really fun to do and um, yeah, really excited to share it with you all. So the main piece and the real focal point is this beautiful die um, cut floral um, image which is from X Cuts and it's this one here. I've already got it on this just to show you when we get to the tutorial um, through the video, sorry, so I don't want to take it off this yet but it's, it's just stunning and I've used it on quite a few pieces and I love doing these acetated finished boxes, windows, window boxes, things like that. So. Um, I was really excited when I bought this one to use it. It cost me, I believe, £12 from the range, off the top of my head. Um, but there you can see it there, it's just stunning. And I'm, I haven't lifted this up yet, so I'm really excited to see what it looks like in the gold. Um, the wood effect stickers are from X-Cut as well. And it's this pack of 15 double-sided sticky wood effect stickers. Um, so you get 15 pieces in this pack and you get different um, shades. So I've used all of this, I just bring it, you can see there, all of this, this wood effect. So I'm going to buy more because this one blended in with the, the card, the brown card, you can't even see it. I mean it's just, it's such a good match. I mean obviously you can see underneath because so I've not used it, but when you just look at it on top there, it's just, it's brilliant, and um, I think it looks great. So in the pack you get the cream colour there, you get a darker brown which is going to look really nice. And I think I'm going to use that for quite a few product projects, as well as this one. That looks really, really good. And then you've also got it in white. Not so keen on the white, so I need to think about where I would use that, because generally, you have like, that just reminds me of like a high gloss varnished piece of wood which I don't really like so I'm not too sure about the white but anyway really really good um, pack to buy so like I said this is the adhesive wood veneer sheets and you can see there that they go through your die cut machine as I've used brilliantly um, so yeah really really worthwhile getting so for this the box that I'm going to be making because I've run out of this brown I'm going to be using the gold and these are also X cut. I went and had a bit of a shopping spree. As you can see, this one you get 20 pieces, and these are adhesive metal effect sheets. Now they're they're much thicker, but they do go through your die cut machine fine. You might have to put an extra piece of card because some people's machines obviously um, are stronger than others. Um, but these are lovely too. And again, I get so excited when I'm stood in these shops and I open up the packaging and look through and when you just feel the card and everything and anyway. Well, all you other crafters will understand what I mean, but it's I get quite excited. But these, you can see, are just beautiful. And they do just look like real sheets of metal. So you've got the gold, you've got the silver, you can see my camera there, and you've got the copper colour there as well. And you can see me, my stripy top. So, there you have it. So, again, really, really good quality um, cards to use for your product the projects products I keep getting my words jumbled up today um, so I highly recommend you buy these because they are brilliant and I am going to be purchasing some more packs because this kind of stuff sells really quick and then you can't get it again so if you see it buy it okay back to the box so um, a nice big window that I've cut out here and used the acetate and then you open it up and I've put this scarf in so I'll take that out for a minute just to kind of show you the size that it is um, and then open it up and it's on a nice hinge there and then you've got these little lip pieces here which give it that really you can hear it that really flush finish I love doing these boxes I'm a bit obsessed at the minute of doing these kind of boxes I just I love that real clean line you know no, no fuss just a really nice elegant box and a lovely gift so enough of me yapping on 
let's crack on with the tutorial. So there's quite a few elements to it, but the, the, the process is all straightforward, but it's just the bits that you need to have ready. So first of all, you're going to need um, two pieces of card. So I've got the brown card. Those of you that have watched my other videos will you know, start to see, and I have mentioned I am obsessed with brown card. I love it. It's cheap. It folds perfectly. Um, it doesn't crack or anything, and it's just a really nice, inexpensive um, medium to use. So again, if you don't use it a lot and you'd like to, then do, because it's great. So these two pieces here measure eight and one eighth of an inch by ten and three fourths of an inch. So you need two pieces of those. You will then need a piece of acetate, which you can just make out there, um, and that measures five and seven eighths of an inch. Sorry, that measures five and then seven and five eighths of an inch. Okay, and then let me just check. I'm giving you all the right pieces. So. For the little lip edge, um, you are going to need two pieces of one inch by five inch card and then one piece of one inch by seven and three um, quarters of an inch. Okay, and then to dress the box with that wood effect, so this is the last of my pieces of that particular shade of wood, so I've literally cut it so I've used every single bit for this box. Um, but I didn't have enough to do another top, that's why I'm using the gold. Um, so for this you need four pieces at seven and a half by five eighths. Okay, so that's those four. And then you need another four at four and seven eighths by five eighths. Okay, so these, these are less than the inch. Alright, so... I will put all these measurements on my blog and the link to that will just be in the bio piece underneath this video when it goes up. Okay, and then you will need, if you're going to be using this um, topper die that I have, this particular one measures approximately, let's call it seven inches because you've got some longer bits there. So let's just call it seven inches and that is wide, you're looking four and a half. So you need a piece of cardstock, um, seven by four and a half for this particular die. If you have any other beautiful toppers, then that would work great. You could just leave it blank and just have it as clear acetate and you could put a block piece of card, um, layered maybe with a nice sentiment on top of that. So there's lots of different ways that you can do this box um, if you don't have these pieces at the minute. Um, so again, we'll come back to that. I'm really excited about that bit, but we'll come back to it in a minute. So what you will need first is one of your pieces of the uh, 8 and 1 8 by 10 and 3 4 cardstock. Um, I'm just going to grab my, oh, grab my scoreboard. Okay, so first of all we're going to score along the, da -da 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 -da, the 10 and th uh, 3 quarters of an inch side. So scoring here, you're going to score at 3 quarters of an inch. Just make sure we're in there. There we go. So three quarters of an inch. On the brown card, you do have to be a little bit more, put a bit more pressure on. So it's all right. Three fours, then one and a half. Like so. And then nine and a quarter. And ten. Okay. And then rotate it so you're, you then have your eight and a quarter. And you are going to be scoring at, again, three quarters of an inch. One and a half. And then six and five eighths. So where am I for five? And then seven and three eighths. Okay. So that is what you're looking for, okay? So grab your other piece and you're going to do exactly the same because the lid and the base are exactly the same size and exactly the same um, scoring and everything. So I'm going to talk you through that again. You'll see I've got a score line here already, but it's not a deep score line, but I'm going to use this as my base. I just didn't want to waste any cards, so... Um, keeping it all every bit. So again, along your ten and three quarters side. So three and a quarter, 
one and a half, nine and a quarter, and ten. And then again, three quarters, one and a half, six and five, and seven and three. Okay. So for me, I know that's my base, and you, you're not going to see that bit anyway. So um, that is it. Yeah, that's all the scoring that you're going to be doing. So leave. Oh, well, either one doesn't matter. I'm going to, I know that's my base because of that score line, but grab a piece and. What we're going to do first is we are going to grab a... Now, I've got my guillotine and scoreboard here, um, which you can just about make out there. But if you don't have, ooh, if you don't have a guillotine, um, but you have a paper cutter um, like this, this is when you're going to need it. Because what you need to do now is cut out that window, so this large rectangle here. Now, I don't have any dies that are that big. It's something that now I love doing this style box that I'm probably going to invest in. But i done it fine with the guillotine, so um, it just takes a little bit of um, patience. So what you need to be doing is, with your ruler, the wind, this, this width here that I've left is a quarter um, of an inch window. Is that what I said it was? I'm sure that's what I put down. Yeah, um, so just a quarter. It's actually just over... Let me just check on here quickly. I just want to make sure I just line that up. No, it is. Okay, yep, yeah, that was fine. Just checking that I'm getting this one right. Okay, so, let's start again. So what you need to be doing is you just want to measure, make sure I'm still in view there. So you just need to buy eye roughly and put a little hole there and then just check. Yeah, buy eye, I done okay there. So you just want to make a, co a, a point, okay, like I've done there. So you can see here. Because you're going to cut, you're going to start cutting from there, from that, from there, all the way down to then the next point. And again, not showing off, but I'm, I'm quite confident by doing these things by eye now. So again, I've got another little hole there. So again, that's three. And three, yep, three eighths. Sorry, this is three eighths of an inch that you're doing this all. So again, just roughly like so. And then again, about there. Okay. Now, all that, that then means is I can follow those dots so I can roughly line that up with my score line. I can just make out that dot and I can see when I'm in line like so. And that goes down to that other one as well and that all lines up. So I know I'm going to be straight. Check there, yeah. And then basically, so if you didn't have this, you would then score against your ruler because you'd want to keep it. You'd score down from that point down to that other point okay because I've got the guillotine I'm just going to use that but if you have this just score from that point down to there and then that point to that point and that point to that point and that point to that point and then that rectangle piece will just fall out okay so I'm just going to use this um, just check I move that all in check I'm still in line there's my other dot on some of the grains of the card are all blending in now Okay, I think I'm okay. So I'm scared to do it now. Okay, so roughly I can see that. Okay, so that's my first line there. And if I just hold it up, you can see there I am, that quarter, three quarters three-eighths of an inch out from that score line there. Okay, so I'm just going to continue that again. So just line up that one to that one. You just want to make sure it's in the street. Okay. There we go. 
that. So like I said, this is the only fiddly, real fiddly bit of this box. Anything else? Is okay. That just to nip corner in there. There we go. So you can see what I'm getting at here. Then again, it's really satisfying when you hear that cut, especially of this card because it's so thick. Okay, and then that last piece. Okay. That's about right. Should. Wow, look at that. There you go. So obviously don't throw that away because that's a good piece, nice for a card topper. Oh, and that blade's just... I'm going to have to fix that in a minute because that blade's going to be dangerous if I leave it like that. Okay, um, so that's where you need to be at this point. So that's all the, the hard stuff done. So um, don't let that scare you off, please. Um, what should we do now? Do, 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 do. I'm wondering whether to burnish it first. Yeah, let's burnish it now and get that done. Okay, so just fold in. Just obviously be careful because it is a little bit weaker because that middle has been taken out. So now that's done, we can pop the acetate inside. So I'm just going to grab, I've got a little bit of this roll left, so I'm just going to use that, just the red tape, because this is really strong to hold the um, acetate in place. Just find where the end is here. And this, the thin red fits perfectly in that gap, which is also really satisfying when you're doing these projects. I like things when it all fits into place. Okay, I think I'll be able to get the same again on this side. Okay. There we go. And will I get... No, not one for that one. So I'm just going to grab this one. my acetate I can't even see it oh there it is okay so grab your acetate sheet some of the acetate have a, a film over the top that you need to peel off so just make sure that you do that before you stick it down so just remove this red tape okay and then you just want to lie oh, something that's stuck on that one just lie it over Obviously it's hard to see and I've got the glare of the light here, but I think it should fit. Yep, yeah, there we go. And it should fit perfectly in that square. Okay. Or rectangle. Just make sure you really push that down. Like so. Okay, so you can see. So now what we need to do is just cut out our tabs and, and assemble Actually, no, before we assemble, we're going to do the fun... No, 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 I'm going to do it. No, cut, and we can do that fun bit still before I assemble it. So what you want to be doing is cutting out your tabs. So you're just going to cut down past that first score line to that second score line. And then again, 
down to that second score line. And then on that second score line, cut across to cut that piece off. And again, cut that piece off. So you want this. This is how I do most of my boxes. So again, if you have been watching my videos, you will know that I'm a bit of a fan of this reinforced box. I don't like making boxes unless they're not reinforced. So this is my, my go-to. So just want to, to keep in mind, if you do like reinforced boxes, then do... Do watch my videos because I, like I said, they're the only thing that I like to make really. Apart from other, obviously, styles of product, projects, but um, that's uh, the way I like to do them. Ooh. Okay, there's those. So, what you need to do is just ever so slightly shear off the edges here. Just makes the... Uh, box close that a little bit easier. I'm just going to go around and do all of these other sides. Okay so now on to the fun bit. So I'm just going to move that to one side for a minute. So this is a piece of the gold um, metallic metal effect card that I used that I showed you earlier. Now what I've done, this stuff is um, is adhesive um, so you can just pierce this through and then cut off the back so don't worry if the die cut doesn't go through the adhesive on the back because it, it has cut through and you can see here the whole thing's coming away and it's coming away from that adhesive there as well so I'm gonna I'm be honest, just completely come off perfectly which is even better so I'm gonna peel, peel it off Oh yeah, you can see there, it's lovely. Now it is still, it's tacky because obviously it's got the sticky underneath. So, and there's a couple of bits, most of it's come out. Where's my pokey tool? But there are some pieces here that are still in the design. You can see there. Oh, how lovely is that? I mean, that is just beautiful. Okay, this is going to take me a few minutes just to remove these. Like I said, it's cut them all out, but because there's an adhesive, there's just little bits that are just kind of just clinging on, and I just need to remove them all just so it's obviously perfect. There's not many at all. I can just see a few, but I'm just going to quickly remove the rest of these, and then we can resume where we left off. Okay. Okay, so that wasn't too bad at all. That didn't take long to pierce those bits out. Oh, there's a little bit there. There we go. How beautiful is that? Oh, I love it. I'd love that if that was a piece of jewellery and just like wrap it around your wrist or something. I just absolutely love it. Anyway, before I, uh, I don't know, stick it on myself or something, you now need to line this up and stick it ooh, into the centre of that acetate. So it's quite hard because some bits obviously stick out than others, but just roughly and then just stick that down some still some little scraggly bits but can pick those off there we go now that is stuck down on top oh I absolutely love it Okay, so now while this is still lying flat, you need to put on the wood effect um, panels that we have here as well, because that just brings it all to life. So I've got little bits of the gold with the sticky and they're sticking to me everywhere and it's irritating. Right, okay, so you're going to need, remember, don't worry about these ones, because these ones are folding in to form your reinforced box. So all we're going to be doing is covering here, here. And then the two sides. Okay, so this is when you need those panels. Don't worry about these fluffy edges I've got. That's just the um, the adhesive um, paper on the reverse side. So once you peel, oh gosh, I can't even find the end here. There we go. So once you peel it off, you can see all of that jagged bit kind of comes off with it. And then just line this up. You can kind of move it a little bit before it actually sticks permanently so it's a little bit forgiving 
just roughly and again it plays with your eyes because once it's down it's there we go okay so you can see that piece there and just rotate that around oh god there we go I've got it again it's not like uber uber sticky but it is sticky enough especially on this cardboard because it's slightly um it's like got a rough edge like a rough finish to it so this does stick to it really well but i'm not sure if it was on maybe a more glossy cardstock you might have to run a piece of your um uh, glue tape along along the bottom of it all right, I'll get this last piece off, and then we can get this one together. There we go. Okay, doke. And there's that. So what we need to be doing now is we're going to stick down the actual box. So I need my just my normal double-sided tape. And you are going to be adding a little bit of tape onto these tabs. Like so. And then flip it over and just give it a really good there as well and then you're going to be adding just check if you do it along the outer part of there you can see there's little bits of gold <laughs> everywhere from the inside oh got a bit wonky there that's okay and then again So flip it over and just take off all of the tape. Again, these bits are always static and end up sticking to me. I would love to see um, what uh, designs and other ideas um, you think up using this um, wood effect adhesive or um, any other designs, uh, coloured card and stuff that you use to do this design. Um, I've got my Facebook page Mixed Up Craft um, so you can always uh, follow on there and share. It's open for anybody to share on that channel, so and I I put up other bits as well, it's not always the videos that I do. Um, so yeah, by all means show me what you do. Okay, and then it's lifting a little bit. I think it just needs to really be pushed down on there, I can hear it. Um okay, right. Then you need to remove all these pieces and fold each one in. So fold that one down. And then if you just grab your bone tool and just really push down and score on each side and it will just give you a really crisp finish.
And there you have your lid. How pretty is that? Oh, love it, love it, love it. And you can see the wood effect there on the sides. Okay, so that's the lid done. So you just want to go back to your base and burnish all your edges. This bit's just really straightforward, exactly the same, but this time we're not obviously having to do all of that with the middle window. So I'm just going to do all these sides, make sure I score down the right line there. Oh, hold on a minute, which one am I? Oh, it's kind of gone off. I'm trying to remember which one isn't. Oh, that's the score. <laughs> because I uh, didn't want to waste this bit of card. I've got that extra. There we go. Just need to... You can hardly see it. I'm going to keep this box for myself anyway, I think, because I love that gold. Okay. And then exactly the same as what we did before. So I'm actually going to um, speed this bit of the video up. So if you did forget, just go back to the... The first one when I went through it slowly but you just want to do that on all of your corners okay okay right so again now we're at this point you want to be adding your wooden strips so you should have these ones left so I'm just going to go around and make sure you don't want to put them on the tab piece the piece that you sheared off the edge because that's going to be inside it's this the first inner one okay so I'm just going to whiz through that okay okay so that's where you need to be now so again exactly the same as what we did before I'm just going to grab my double sided tape and just do the tabs and then flip it over and do the outer um, of the four tabs that you've got there Oh, I've just used the last of that one and I've got a feeling, oh no I'm lucky, I am literally getting to the end of lots of my tape so I need to run that one. <laughs> oh come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh I'm lucky, literally. I've got loads of red but I don't want to use it, I only use it for when it's needed for the really strong, strong pieces so a different colour one. I'm going to have to cut that one. It doesn't tear so well. Okay. So exactly the same as before. And again, grab your bone tool and just score down all those sides just to really make sure all that adhesive stuck and you've got really really crisp edges and it's doing all these little extras that will really make that box really flush so there you go there's your base and there is your lid and if you line them up and put it on its side we have got two it's hard to do it but there you go completely flush when they're together so that is what you want if you don't have that at this point then the box will not work um, these need to be exact which is why it's really key to make sure you get all those score lines um, in the right place and really really sharp um, and make sure your um, scoring is correct as well okay so the last i don't know if i didn't i might not be a bit of adhesive under that one actually anyway um so now we need that's our side so our Hinge, where do I put my hinge? Oh, I don't think I cut. I don't think I cut the hinge out. Okay, let me just quickly check my measurements. No, I never done, I never even took the measurements for the hinge. So bear with me one minute. I'm just gonna 
find that one out and get back to you. Okay, sorry about that. So there's one more piece that you need. Um, and this piece measures at one and a half by seven and three quarters. And you need to score along the one and a half uh, side at three quarters of an inch. So right down through the middle. Okay, so I'm just going to burnish that piece. on both sides because this is, will basically be folding like that so you just need that to be nice and loose so I'm going to use the red tape for this because it's quite an important part of the box keeping it together and I'll just put one bit on the I don't think it's going to need all of that actually. One was probably enough, but never mind. Okay, make sure it's down strong. And then grab the base, and that should basically sit. It will be quite snug, but you, you need it to be. So don't worry if it, it bows out like that, because once you stuck it, it will be completely um, taut, and you want it to be as close to that end there, because again, it's it's that preciseness that makes the box work how it does. So um, don't worry if that's how it is. Well, that's how it should be, because uh, that's the measurements. Okay. Oh, and again, this red stuff is super strong. So just take off one side, and then again, if you go in like so to the corners. Like so, and that one, and then just basically work away through, like so, and then just score that down again with your bone tool, and you'll see there you get a completely flush finish. Okay, and again, that's that's what you need. So this bit now is a little bit fiddly. I know I did say that there was no more fiddly bits, but this is not as uh, not as bad as that one. But it's a little bit. So you need to get your lid, okay, and basically you want to sit this like that first, so it's a, a bit from a height, and then the box right on top of each other, just keep pushing it, lowering it down until you hit that card. And you should get enough grip from the tape to get hold of it. Let me just... If not, get your bone tool and go through and just do that, just so you do get it stuck. You can see there, the finish is exact, and then it means you can open it, yeah. Now, it will be a bit stiff, but don't worry, because you're then going to manipulate it, okay, like so. Exactly like that. Now you won't really be able to get, you can't put too much pressure on, unless you put your fingers underneath, you'll be able to just make sure that's all scored down nicely. But again, it's really snug, you can just make out in both those corners, and there you have it. And then when that comes down, already it's lining up perfectly, but with the lip that we'll put on in a minute, that will just really hold it all perfectly in place. Oh my god, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, so now you need these pieces here, which are your last pieces for the lip that's going to be coming out outside. These, um, just stick a piece, I'll just carry on with this red for the minute, um, along the bottom, because remember you don't want to have any, you don't want to have too much because this is going to, some of it is going to be exposed. So I'll just remove... That, oh, that piece there. Yeah, can you see this piece here is lifted? It's got, it's still got a bit of a adhesive underneath, so that piece escaped, slipped through the net. So I need to sort that out. Okay, so with this again, it should have a nice. You can hear it on the sides, a real snug fit, because aesthetically, this is what is on view. So you want it to be again really, really neat. And again, just get the corners in like so. You can see it bows out slightly. That's completely fine. You want that just just like you did with that, so you get a really nice finish, and then just push that all into place. And you'll see there, you've got that lip. And once that goes down, you can see 
it's got that nice sound to it okay so you just need to do the same with the two sides and that will just help that all along when it opens and closes so again just open that one up just push that down and then the last one Like I said, lots of elements, but straightforward. Just uh, lots of different stages and parts to do, but I love doing this kind of thing, so this is therapy. This is just perfect for me. There we go. And we should... Oh, that was another little tip, actually. Just on these corner bits here, just roll them in, just with your onto your thumb, just ever so slightly. You could corner punch them as well, because I have done that on other project projects projects I've got to keep saying projects not products like so and it just will help glide down the box when it goes to close and oh, listen to that that is just perfect and there you have it two amazing oh my god i love them boxes oh get that one there there we go so i hope you enjoy these and like them and i would love to see like I said, I've got my um, Mixed Up Craft on Facebook page and you can share any of the designs that you do of mine. Please share with me. Um, I'd love to see what other people make. And um, yeah, please like this video if you did like it. And to see more of these kind of things, then please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.